The Tale of Tuesday. Hello, my dear friends. I welcome you from the Red Dome. I'm Sarah, and in this channel, I show you my country, Iran. But not that one on the news, another Iran. Okay, what was the book Half Pekka or Seven Beauties by Iranian poet Nizami from the 12th century? And the story was about Bahram and his seven wives that symbolized the seven steps of perfection. And there were seven domes and seven colors and seven planets and seven days of the week. And if you want to know the base of the story, watch the video of the Black Dome, at least the introduction. It's about two and a half minutes. So we said that Saturday, the first day of the week in the Persian calendar, is Saturn's day. Sunday is Sun's day. Monday is Moon's day. But Tuesday is two two twos well as you know the days of the week and the planets in english are named upon roman gods but not all of them in some of them anglo-saxon or nordic gods have replaced roman gods and tuesday is named after two the oldest god of the germans but still tuesday in french is called mardi or in spanish it's martes which both refer to mars the fiery planet which in Persian is called Bahram. Okay, let's jump into the story. What did Bahram do on Bahram's day? He wore a red robe and went to the red dome to spend the day with his wife. And at night, Shah Hazan Sorsi Beshahdamiz Khast Afsane Neshatangiz. The story was about the daughter of a Russian king who was perfect. At the Afrahte Chosarv Bebak. She was also an artist, a scientist, and a witch. She had a lot of suitors, but none of them were good enough for her. People would call her the castle lady because she had built a castle on the top of a mountain and had put deadly spells on it. If you want me, you must go through these spells. در آن بارک آسمانی بود چون در آسمان نهانی بود. Its door was invisible, so the poor suitors had to find the door first, which wasn't easy. The girl, who had also a marketing master, painted a lot of paintings of herself and displayed them around the city. On each of them, she had written the address of the castle and the conditions. هر کرا این نگار می باید نه یکی جان هزار می باید. همتش سوی راه باید داشت چهار شرطش نگاه باید داشت The conditions First, to be well-mannered Second, to be able to open the spells Third, to find the invisible door and enter through it And fourth, to answer the ladies questions A lot of men tried to pass these four steps but they couldn't In fact, they were all killed by the spells Until, as you expected, the one was found but he wasn't a suitor. He, who happened to be a noble prince, was going out of the city for hunting when he saw one of the paintings. He noticed that this amount of people have been killed in such a horrible way because of this girl. His blood will all fight for justice. He knew that if he just goes to see what happens, he'll die like the others. He had to research. But this is the red dome. It's not like the green one. Patience and satisfaction and praying. He didn't give up until he found a philosopher. He taught him the anti-magic and everything that he needed. So when he felt ready, wearing red to symbolize the blood of the innocent, he set up. After a lot of effort, he reached the castle, broke the spells, and started beating a drum and following the reflection of the sound. He found the door and entered. The castle lady sent a message. Okay, you brave man. Go to the city and wait for two days. I'll come to my father's palace to ask you my questions. But when he was going to enter the city, he saw that the bodies of the suitors were hanged around the gate. He gathered some people and they buried the corpses. People decided that if this man won't be chosen, we'll kill the king and he will be our new king. Kansare ma 
و از دگرسو عروس زیباروی شادمان شد به خواستاری شوی. The two days passed. At the castle, the girl sat behind a curtain as the boy waited for the questions. She picked two small pearls from her earrings and sent them to the boy. In response, he added three more pearls and sent the five of them back. The girl weighed them. They were almost like her pearls. So she chopped them all, mixed them with sugar and sent them back. The boy asked for a glass of milk and poured them into it. The girl drank the milk and the crumbs of the pearls remained. She weighed them again and the weight hadn't changed. That's great. She sent her ring to the boy. He wore the ring and sent a very unique gem of his own to the girl. Okay, isn't it over yet? The girl found a gem exactly like that in her necklace and sent it to the boy. When the boy saw this, he put a blue stone next to the two gems and sent all of them to the lady. Daddy, I just found my husband. The king, her father, who was looking at them all this time, said, Okay, first tell me, what were you doing there? Was that a new trend or something? No, dad. The girl said, When I sent him two pearls, I wanted to say that life is two days and it's not worth it. He added three more pearls to say that even if it's five days, it's still worthless. Then I added sugar to say lust and love are always combined. You can never find the truth of life in this mess. He solved them in milk, which means if you have faith and knowledge, you never lose the essence of life. And the perfect life is made of both, the sweetness of joy solved in knowledge. When I drank the milk, I wanted to say that I'm like a baby in front of your wisdom. So I gave him a ring to show my willingness to marry him. But he sent a unique piece of stone to me to say that no one is like him. Huh. I gave him a stone exactly like that. We're both the same. So he agreed and noticed that I'm a very wise woman and I'm not a murderer, like you used to think, and accepted to marry me. So he added a Nazar amulet to keep us safe. The king said, Wow. So they married and lived happily ever after. چون به پایان شد این حکایت نبز گشت پر سرخ گل هوا را مبز روی بهرام از آن گلفشانی سرخ شد چون رهی به ریحانی And that was it. Thanks for watching and if you like the story hit the like button so that more people can watch it. I'm Sarah, daughter of Iran. Subscribe to my channel if you want to hear the story of Wednesday.